All right, tonight I am, my wife just got home from surgery on her hand, carpal tunnel issue. So I took, I got some ground chicken. I don't usually cook, but I'm cooking tonight. I got some ground chicken. Well, yeah, ground chicken. And uh, put a little oil, a little olive oil in. Put about a teaspoon of minced garlic. Where's my garlic? I put it away already. And uh, she likes to eat healthy, wants to eat more vegetables. So um, I went to a store called Wegmans and they have a veggie blend, spaghetti cut. So this is already ready for spaghetti. It's got uh, zucchini, squash, um, what is this one? Red peppers, orange peppers. Uh, what else they got in here? The only thing they don't have in here, well, I think they have red pepper. Yeah, red onions. There we go. I want some onions. So I'm going to get this uh, chicken ground to about half. And then I'm going to put in vegetables. Come on. This is my meat, meat grinder. I like to cook it with this from Pampered Chef. I think this is from, I got this from Pampered Chef. But it helps grind your meat more. All right, I'm going to add my veggie blend I got from Wegmans. Any local store may have this um, veggie blend. It's perfect for spaghetti. So what I'm going to do is just make, make sure this gets cooked in with that ground chicken so it can soften a little. I don't want the veggies to be, um, you know, too soft. And I also don't want these vegetables in two larger chunks. So I usually cut them in half, so I'm just going to chop them. Since I'm working with one hand, I'm just going to chop them with the spoon. I try not to make a mess. But yeah, this is perfect for spaghetti. They could chop these up a little bit more. The vegetables are long. So like I said, I'm just going to chop them in half with my spoon. But even if you don't have the... Um, the veggie blend. You can cut zucchini, squash, red pepper. Oh wait, is this carrots? Oh, it's actual carrots. My, I stand corrected. It's carrots and red pepper and red onion. And you can chop that up yourself. You don't have to buy it all in one blend. Just add that to your spaghetti. Now, it doesn't look like spaghetti yet. That's because I haven't added any sauce yet. And I'm no, like, you know, chef or anything, so I'm not making my own sauce. I mean, the sauce is going to be the easy part. The easiest part of all is to do the sauce. So I'm going to continue to let these vegetables um, kind of cook down, especially the carrots. I don't like crunchy carrots. The thought of crunchy carrots in my... Uh, spaghetti. Make sure that all the chicken's ground up nice. Okay. All right, so I'm just gonna let these vegetables cook. All right, let me get that. I should probably have a lid, but I'm not gonna worry about it. So, wife's over here studying. Remember, she just had her surgery. Oh, she's sleepy. <laughs> she's still under that anesthesia stuff. So I'm going to the pantry and trying to, I just, I really like Bertelli sauce. Um, let me see what else we got. We got Bertelli's, tomato and basil. We got a heck of a lot of marinara sauce. Oops. I think I got, let me see. This might be the only pasta sauce. Oh yeah, we got a lot of marinara. So I think I only have this one Bertelli, Ber, Bertoli. That's probably the right way to say it. But you just have one sauce. We're gonna work with the Bertoli. Uh, let me see if I have any sauces in here. No. Also, I also put a little seasoning salt on the chicken before I uh, put the vegetables in. And I also put a teaspoon of minced garlic. And it already smells wonderful, that garlic really will kick it off 
I think I'm gonna put some garlic powder in too. Yeah, put some garlic powder. I'm improvising here. I'm just making this up as I go, but we will see how it tastes at the end. Okay, enough garlic powder there. Not gonna put any salt. I put seasoning salt, so that's enough salt. My wife doesn't like salty foods, so it's more. It's better to have flavorful food than salty food. So we like flavor over here. Let me chop these vegetables up a little more. They're cooking down nicely. Okay. Cooking, cooking down real nice. Probably gonna have to cook these a little longer than I imagined. But I'll just keep cooking them down. Doesn't it's not a hard meal to cook, but you gotta have a little patience to cook these vegetables down. So you make a nice sauce. So Alright, so it's been a few more minutes to let these vegetables simmer in here um, with the brown chicken. Don't forget to add your, uh, put your noodles on. I just, I forgot to put my noodles on, so I'm doing it now. Adding a little salt to the water. Well, I don't know if it's, no. I don't cook all the time, so please forgive me. I guess you could put a little salt, but you don't really need it. I think I need to put the oil. A little oil in the water okay so like I said I'm going to use already a canned uh, pasta sauce I want to get it in there now because so the with the sauce the vegetables will continue to you know soften up I want that flavor to all the flavors to gel together so I'm gonna mix all this up looking like a nice thick sauce already I'm gonna get some, uh, once these vegetables cook down, it'll get a little more watery. You don't want it too watery, but you don't want like thick clops of meat. You want like a sauce. So I'm gonna let all these, the sauce kind of get in there. Okay, stir it up real good. Make sure all the vegetables are covered with the sauce. While I got my water getting hot here. Okay, I'm just gonna let this simmer another let's say 10 minutes or so all right all right I turned the heat to low and I'm just gonna let this simmer for another 10 minutes I'll be back in 10 all right so I'm gonna improvise I had some fire roasted pizza sauce so I'm going to add that in just to stretch this out a little more okay I want a little more saucier than yeah, I want to stretch this out. Those flavors, the tomato and basil and the fire roasted uh, pepper flavor should go really well together. So that looks a little good. That looks really good, actually. Let me turn it up. Let me turn the heat up a little more. Yeah, let me just turn the heat, get this going a little more. Okay. All right. Okay. The mix is still simmering down. Looks really good. Okay. Got my water on. I'll put my noodles in there in a minute. Let's see. Let's see what noodles. I think I'm going to use the thick spaghetti. Thick spaghetti noodles. I'm going to use those. Yeah. All right. Let me stir this up a little more. My wife hates for this to splash on the wall, so I'm gonna try to prevent that. Okay. All right. All right, noodles are in. What I do is I just break them in half with my bare hands so that they fit in the pot. So I just took a handful. Um, a lot tonight. I just wanted to cook this for tonight, give her Put some little bit of food on her stomach. She's just gonna take a few bites, so, and I'll probably take a few. And we'll be ready to go to bed, cause you know she's gotta get some rest. She's the surgery. Look at the poor baby. You need to stop. Look at the baby. <laughs> Look at that hand. Oh. You're funny, honey. Look at that hand. They I'm opened put it some up. Some ice in here. Oh, so want me to put some ice in there? I will. I gotta open this up. I'll let you finish that first. Okay. First, oh. All right. 
come up in. Alright. Okay. She's got homework. I'm gonna finish cooking. I think my sauce is pretty much done, but I'm gonna just go ahead and let it. I'm gonna let it simmer for like 10 more minutes, okay? Alright. Alright, it's been another 15 minutes I've been letting this simmer. So. And the noodles are done. So the thick noodles, so they're done. I'm not going to. I never rinse. Ooh, that was crazy. Get off of there. I never rinse my noodles because I like that starch to stay on there so that the meat sauce will stick more to it. So I'm just going to let my wife taste this a little bit. I'm just going to put a little on a plate for her. Just want her to taste it, and that's all she's going to get tonight. <clears throat> just a little sample. I got a little salad from Panera Bread, so it probably isn't the best spoon to get this out with. That's okay. Let me see. I could get a little more out. It's just gonna give her a little more, and that's it. That's enough. Okay, that's enough. Okay, I'm just gonna see. She likes it. There should be enough sauce there. And she likes cheese on hers. So we got some Colby Jack cheese. A little bit on top. Let's see. Alright, we're gonna see how she likes this in a minute. Okay. All right, okay, let me turn this off first. I want this to be done cooking. So, okay, it's off. One day I almost left home without turning it off properly. So, anyway. Yeah, maybe should I look? Okay, here you go. I want you to taste it. It's done already. It's done, babe. I simmered it for like 20 minutes. Only 20? <laughs> How long would you have sim simmered it? No mushroom, no spinach, none of that. Good stuff. Oh, I didn't put some mushrooms. Oh, I want to try to go with that. Some mushrooms. No, next time. And some spinach would have been good too. Yeah, next time. Mm-hmm. Good flavor. Good flavor. Mm-hmm. Yay! I like it. You like it? It's perfect. Don't add any more seasoning. Okay. It's plenty. I only put um. I put a little salt, seasoning salt on the chicken, ground, mm -hmm. ground chicken, a, tables, a tablespoon of minced garlic, okay. and then I added two sauces. You sure you don't want to add any? So you can actually pick your own sauce, sauces to add. I mean, you don't have to use Bertoli's, but I just like that brand. So anyway, she likes it. Thank you. She likes it. So my job is done for today. It's October 27, 2023. Mm -hmm. We are about to go to bed. I'm tired. I'm at the hospital. What? Oh my God, what is she talking about? <laughs> oh, she's crazy. All right. Out here, 